Today's big eye is somewhat controversial. It all centers around the future of humanity. Our guests today predict that in about 20 years, people will become more like cyborgs, which is a combination of man and machine in order to compete in this ever-changing world. But that's only the beginning. Take a look at this clip. If you go back 500 years, not much happened in a century. Now a lot happens in six months. Technology feeds on itself and it gets faster and faster. It's going to continue in about 40 years. It's going to be moving so fast. The pace of change is going to be so astonishingly quick that you won't be able to follow it unless you enhance your own intelligence by merging with the intelligent technology we've created. Corporations and governments and societies will be created and destroyed on the back of the technology that this book describes. That was a taste of the documentary Transcendent Man, which was directed by Barry Ptolemy, who joins me now. Also with us is Ray Kurzweil, whose book, The Singularity is Near, inspired the film, and he's heavily featured in it. Uh, thanks for joining us, both of you. And in fact, Ray, uh, you were uh, featured on the cover of, uh, or in this, in this Time magazine uh, from, uh, from last week, with your article. It says, 2045, the year man becomes immortal, and it talks about you in here. Now, let me just ask you, singularity. This, your book is about singularity. It's not a, a, an expression that most of us know. One description of it, let me just show our viewers what, what it can be. I, I don't know if this is you said this or someone else did. A future period in which technological change will be so rapid and its impact so profound that every aspect of human life will be irreversibly transformed. Yeah, I did say that. <clears throat> I mean, this is a billion times more powerful per dollar than the computer I used as a student. Right. It'll happen again in the next 25 years. Right. It's 100,000 times smaller. 25 years, this will be the size of a blood cell. The software is also getting smarter. Look at Watson. They can right. understand human language. That was the one that was competing in Jeopardy. Exactly. It does a pretty good job of yep. the subtleties of language. Google cards are driving without human drivers 140,000 miles. But this is the part, and all of that I get, but this thing here <clears throat> that shows some kind of connectivity going into the human brain, you're actually talking about somehow the, the human brain. Right. Well, there won't, there won't be a connector. Uh, these devices will be the size of blood cells. They'll go through our bodies and brains. They'll keep us healthy from inside by augmenting our immune system. They'll go inside the brain put our brains on the internet, uh, mm -hmm. give us access to cloud computing inside our brains. We're going to merge with this technology. I mean, that's why we create this. This makes me smarter, and we'll be putting these yeah, technologies inside I agree with you. i got three devices around me, but there's something about it being uh, around me as opposed to part of me. Barry, uh, it's not easy, uh, an easy topic, and it's a controversial topic, and Ray's uh, opinions, although he's very, very smart and widely uh, lauded, are controversial. Tell me about this movie. Well, I mean, you know, Ray's ideas are the most profound, I believe, that we've ever had to grapple with in all of human history. And I think it's important to actually document them at this time when, when these exponential changes are, are coming at us faster and faster. And that's why we made the movie. All right, Ray, let's just talk about what you think is going to happen. First of all, you're, you're described when we read about you as a futurist, as, uh, as an inventor, uh, and you've gotten some things right. <clears throat> Uh, in the past, and, and that's why a lot of people say, well, if Ray says so, it's going to happen. So tell me how I cope with this, because there's something about 2029 that is important in your writings and, and, and Well, it's thoughts. not like nothing happens and then suddenly everything happens. Right. I mean, things are happening already. Three years ago, people didn't use social networks. Right. Now it's overthrowing governments. I mean, right. things, and we get used to these changes very quickly. Ultimately, we're going to reprogram our own biology, which is an information process. We have these computer software programs called genes, which are out of date. We need to update them. Our ability to do that is getting more and more powerful. It grows exponentially. And the key point is our intuition about the future is not exponential. Right. It's linear. And it makes a very profound difference. Barry, uh, this idea that we will have to augment our intelligence with computers, w w you're, you're on the outside of this. How do you see this? I mean, wh my view is why can't we just sort of control or shut down or draw back the computers a little bit? Well, we already And I say them. computers, but I mean, I mean technology, really. I mean, you're the one who mentioned you have three devices in front of you. Yeah. Um, so if, if, as they become more powerful, if we don't become a part of them, they will become so powerful that they would have, they would live their own lives. We need to merge with our machines. We've always used them to extend our reach mm -hmm. ever since the beginning of time, and I think we need to continue to do that. And that's why Ray's philosophy of allowing them to come into our bodies makes so much sense. Egypt shut down the internet, they had to turn it back on because our whole economy came to a yeah. standstill.
it's scary, but it's worth reading about. And it's worth watching the movie because it's hard to understand right. uh, where this is going. But boy, you really are on top of this controversial, uh, brilliant figure, Ray Kurzweil. Thanks very much for uh, being here.